What could be up here that is death, according to that painting? I don't know. Yeah, another mass servant. We've got a locked door. We have multiple locked doors. There's dot and cottontail in here. It's a ball. I wonder if I can throw that ball. And in here is a bunch of spider stuff. So I'm pretty sure there's just spiders and whatnot up here. Um, although that goes up to the roof, I think. So it might be worth it to try to get in there. The masked servant does not speak. It only moans. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's try opening this. This door is locked tight, but there's a sliding hatch at ankle height. Grains of sand drift from beneath the door and form the tiniest dunes. Slide open the hatch and peek inside the room. Peering in, you can barely see as your vision is limited by a cobweb draped across the hatch. You think you see an empty room carpeted with sand. It's quiet in the room. Too quiet. Leave the door be. Can I pick lock? The servant emits a menacing growl. Okay, you don't like that. Um, let's see what's in this door. The creature warns you away with a throat-melting groan. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I'm curious what's up here, right? Like, I want to, I want to go inside. I have an idea. Let's go, let's go talk to Riker again. See if we can't be like, hey, what's upstairs? And if we can't do that, then I might just kill them upstairs and see if I that does anything that bad. Our bargain reaches a satisfactory okay. conclusion. Inform him you don't have the tablet. Well. Okay, well, he doesn't want anything to do with that. Um, he's got a journal here. I don't feel like I can take him just yet, you know what I mean? So, uh, let's let's come see what's downstairs, right? Because we have a spider web here. So maybe that's a hint that, hey, go downstairs or find this stuff. Okay, so we can sneak and then we can hit this, which takes us down here. Riker's Rest Cellar. Okay, there apparently is something over here. There's a Betty. Okay, I don't I don't want to. Dot's collar, huh? Sure is damp and dank here. Wait, don't those mean the same thing? Yes. I'll take that potion. I guess we'll check these. Ooh, this place is like expansive. Like this was all under the the mansion. That's kind of scary. There's a rat. Ooh, I should talk to the rat. Hey, Rod. Rodin, get, get back here. You, apple tater cheese. Uh, hungry, is he? Tell the rat you'll drop him some food if you get the chance. The rat's tail twists and untwists. His ears cock and uncock. Food. Okay, I guess I can give him some food. Sit down. Um, do I have cheese? I don't even know if I have cheese. I, th I know I've got like fish and whatnot. I got potatoes. Lots of potatoes. Rotten eggs. Maybe he wants some rotten eggs. If I had a jar of honey. I, maybe I sold all my cheese. Actually, I don't, like I said, I don't think I had any. At least right now. Lemon, red snapper, bread. Ah, oh, maybe I can give him some bread. Did that help? There we go. Okay, talk to him now. need food. Okay. The rat's tail twists. Cheese food, fruit food. Cheese food, fruit food. I mean, pumpkins are technically a fruit, right? Well, like they're a vegetable. I think they are technically a fruit. Watermelon? Want some watermelon, buddy? How about, how about that? Feeding. There we go. Okay. Can't talk hungry. The rat's tail twists. Food. Okay. I feel like I've given him a lot of food. Got some empty potion bottles there. Maybe I need cheese. Let's, I don't know. Let's just keep throwing food on the ground. I don't need those potatoes. Let's see if he eats up. He does eat them. I mean, there's six potatoes there. If he eats all of those and he's still hungry, then I know I need to give him cheese. Which, I cannot see anything that might have cheese in it. So I actually might need to kind of go, go elsewhere. Can I open this up? That's just a cage, yep. Okay, there's two more potatoes. Man, he loves he loves food. So he's a very hungry rat. Can't talk hungry. Okay. Well, I gotta come back for cheese, I guess. 
Can I talk to Betty? The turtle looks up at you, slowly. It looks down, slowly. It looks back to you, slowly. <laughs> Lucky in life. Unlucky in love. Console her. Is she in love with someone that doesn't love her back? She lets loose a long sigh. She inhales. She sighs again. Oh, Rory. <laughs> the rat. He's just over there. Don't blink. Or he'll flip right past. Like a... Like a rat. He's grace. I'm gruel. I'm too slow to give him smooches. And he's so smoochable. This is very funny. If only I could keep up. I could groan sweet things in his little ears. I could tell him I love him. I could share my beats. I like beats. Offer to talk to the rat for her. Maybe you can butter him up. Oh, how kind. But I don't like butter. You could try carrot juice or some kind of... Uh, tell her to continue. Nectar? Do rats like nectar? Maybe cheese juice. Is there such a thing <laughs> as cheese juice? So you've never heard of uh, cheese juice? Oh, that's too bad. Because then you could cheese juice her up. She grins at her own joke. <laughs> it takes a good minute for her mouth to reach a full smile. <laughs> um, I guess I could talk to him. I need, I need cheese. Where am I gonna find cheese? I found more bread. I found some breast snapper. Okay, let's go and try to find out if he'll even talk to me. He may not. I'm like I said, I may need cheese. Can't talk hungry. Tell him to slow down. The turtle has something to say to him. Hungry cheese berry. <sighs> the rat vacuums up your scent. Its whiskers twitch. Cheese food, fruit food. Okay, all right, go. Opposites attract. We didn't chat with Rory for long, but he sure seems hungry. I swear, I've given him a lot of food. I don't really know what to do outside of that. Maybe talk to her again? The turtle looks up at you. So okay, yeah. lucky in life. Unlucky Suggest that Roy might be life. still for a moment if he had something to nibble on. Oh, he does love a good nibble. If he meant he'd stick around, I'd lie in a bed of apples. Maybe you could drop some bittles next to me. They say the way to a rat's heart is through his... <laughs> Hurry this along. Stomach. Try to speed things up. Spleen. <laughs> I forget. Tell her this is an odd place to find a turtle. Who is her owner? Used to be the lady. Was there one day and wasn't the next? Like a now, nice guy gives me beads. I like beads. May the soil under your feet stay ever soft. <laughs> okay, here's the idea, right? We're gonna get some food. We gotta, we gotta. Put some bread next to her. Okay. Now, we're gonna take a potato. Then, we're gonna take an egg. Will, will a rat eat an egg? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Then, we're gonna take a poison. No. <laughs> bad. Bad. Don't want to poison the thing. Uh. I don't know what these mushrooms do. That's also a problem. I guess I could take some potato porridge, right? So if we like, um, split one, split one, okay, then we move one here, then we move one here, yeah, then we move one here. We'll see if he eats. Do I have anything else? Oh, yeah, there he goes, okay, okay, okay. Is he gonna go to the next one? 
Hey, buddy. You got some food over here? You got some food? Why don't you take this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then why don't you, uh, stop moving. Why don't you take this one? No? Crap. Okay. I thought that would work. I don't, I think maybe I'm on the right train. I just need, I don't know. I just need something else. Let's see if, uh, what that says. Betty suggests we distract Rory with food. I'm trying to, right? Like I need, I need more food. Let's see here. Can't talk hungry. Okay. Well, like I only have so much food, right? So uh, I don't want to use poisoned fish, but I have a lot of them. Let's actually just mark all those poisoned fish because I'm not going to use them. Um, and the rotten eggs. But let's... I'm, I'm starting to learn that I have already kind of overused how much food that I needed. So let's go here, 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 here. Nope. Here. Okay. Here. Is he going to come down? Would he come down? Can I put Speak. one? Speak. No, take my leave. Crap. Come on, Rory. Get up here. Rory? Okay, yeah, get to that. Oop, did I kill him? Oh, crap. I think I just killed Rory. No, he's diseased. For how long? I didn't... <laughs> crap, he's dying. Um, thankfully, he has extra HP because of stuff. Rory. Rory. Get, get down here. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. I didn't mean to poison him. That was really bad. Is he still poisoned? No. Okay, so he got that. Oh, okay. Now he's coming. Is he going to eat that? Okay, yeah. Good. Good. Good, Rory. Good rat. Well, well done, rat. Okay. Uh, I need more food. Crap. Uh, put that here. Okay, can I talk to him? Nice to finally come out of wow, that gave a lot of XP. May the soil under your feet stay ever smooth. <laughs> okay, I think I did it. They're in love. We make a cute couple. I can't believe I finished that quest and it gave me a lot of XP. Nailed it. Also, what can I even do over here? This is like some kind of area i guess i don't know like i don't even know where this place goes it apparently goes somewhere over here where there is a chest okay let's kind of let's give this a good look around there oh, there's also a ladder okay so there's a way to get down here that isn't this way so i'll come i guess i'll come and i don't know come back if i need to but otherwise i'm just gonna look around try to find some other stuff i didn't realize that there's a thing of skulls here let's see what that is bones okay i'll take the bone whatever well i feel good about that but i didn't manage to get through the door upstairs so i still want to so here's what i'm gonna do Hi, the giant takes no, note get out of here i didn't mean to click on you so i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna quick save i'm going to kill these servants and try to get into here without you know what's his butt knowing so the easiest way to do this would be of course to like get back over here and do like ballistic shot the Bam. emits a menacing growl okay yeah he didn't like that the creature warns you away with a throat melting groan yeah you still don't like that do you attack the servant's guttural roar there we go just trying to get into combat with him also he regenerated all the stuff before i could um, wow, you did a lot of physical armor there. Uh, yes, I understand they're more powerful than I am, but I should be able to take them on. So, um, actually, you know what? Let's kill this guy first. So we're going to impale here. Yeah, and of course we're going to, uh, I'm not going to fireball yet, right? Because haste is one. So we're going to do this. Now we're going to fireball. No, oh, crap. I didn't want to do that. That's... Whatever. I can't supernova, but I'll do that next turn. I'm gonna put haste on her. That's not what I wanted to do. That really sucks. Oh, okay. He's invisible. 
he's probably gonna come over and attack on me which sucks um let's do sky shot on him okay and uh honestly can i get oil on my weapon cool and then let's just do I could do reactive shot this guy's going next oh no the other guy's going next no okay i see yeah uh, so los is gonna or not los but uh Sabil's gonna get a chance to go before so maybe i just do a regular attack here get rid of his physical armor um I don't have rain anymore, which would have helped. But I can... Not do much. Let's do Soothing Cold. And uh, I could put Death Wish on somebody, but I don't really feel like that's necessary. And put Uncanny Evasion on... Probably Losa, honestly. Lordy. And that should be good. I can Mosquito Swarm, but I don't need to do that. I can do any of this, but I don't need to do it. So we'll enter in there. I'm going to have him go like this. Try to see where the heck this guy went. Otherwise, I'm going to move here. He's all slowed. I don't like that she got knocked down, because that is her entire turn. Oh, okay. There's the guy. Okay. He didn't. I'm surprised he didn't move at all. Um, she has what on her? Atrophy. Character cannot use weapons for, for attacks or skills for how long? I guess I'll do this. And I guess I will retreat off over to here. And uh, I guess I can pop a heal on somebody. Probably on her. They got rid of a lot of my physical armor. That kind of sucks. All right, skip. Um, let's move him over here. He's got more attack damage now because he got that upgraded weapon. So I could utilize that if I need to. But uh, might do. Here's the thing. I could get rid of his magic armor if I really need to. But I feel like I need to kind of whittle him down a little bit and then hit him with. Let's, um, you know what? No, let's shocking touch him. There we go. And then try to petrify. Bam. Nice. Okay, so he's out of the fight for one turn or one round. We'll mend metal. So they're restoring physical armor, which of course is really good. Um, I could... Man, this is tough. Deciding what to do here. Let's let's move, get in position. So if he if he tries to move, he's gonna get a whole world of hurt. We'll end his turn, so he has an extra AP. I'm glad that this guy is slowed, but he's kind of in an annoying spot. So what I can do here is I could supernova. He is just out of range, so let's move here, then supernova, which is gonna get Losa too, but I think it would be worth it. did a lot of damage okay i'm gonna move her out of course and she's no longer like crippled or whatever it is um his physical armor is gone i'm gonna knock him down which removes his next turn of course it's really good um i, I can also hit him with barrage Let's do that Ooh, and because he's down he got a critical hit against him it's really good i like that uh, this guy's kind of screwed. He's he's going to have a hard time moving because he can't necessarily get past Sir Laura. He's just kind of standing there. I like that quite a bit. Um, I don't need to death wish anybody, so we will... To Kang touch him? Just because I can? Oh, right. Physical armor. I don't know why I always think that's, that's magic armor. But it is a, a pretty constant thing for me when it comes to that. Let's make him. And let's do it again. And I don't really need to hit him with anything else. I could hit him with fire. Let's see that. 
and she is off over here, but she could finish this guy off pretty easily. Yeah, let's do that. But then, uh, I don't really want to hit him with any other spell, so let's just use the staff. Okay, so that guy's dead. Almost leveled. Heart of steel, huh? Oop. Oh, crap. <laughs> She's in a bad spot now. Uh, we can sky shot him. What does heart of steel do? Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, and I could ballistic shot, but... But I'm not sure. I'm gonna nether swap her in just a second here. Yeah, let's just do it. Just to get some damage out of the way. So, nether swap is great, because I can do this. Um, wait, what is it? How, wait, how does it work? Make two characters switch places. One of the characters can be you. Right. You and red. Boom. So now I can run off over here. Kind of act as a wall a bit. Um, hit Losa with the heal. She's, she's still burning. Now he could taunt this guy. And hit him with a crippling blow. Because you don't have any physical armor, so. He, he ain't going anywhere, at the very least. Tentacle rush. That's annoying. Block. Nice. Okay, uh, let's just go with like your standard shot here. I can make two attacks, so let's just do that. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So much damage. Okay, uh, shocking touch is back up, so let's shock the heck out of this guy. Let's get behind him. Shock him. Bam. And then, uh... Can't really do much else, actually. Do that, get some magic armor back. And I suppose I can hit him like this. Without hitting beast, that works. And then, smack him. How is he not dead yet? Uh, I don't want to really do any AOE effects here, so let's just try to hit him with the staff. Miss, are you serious? All right, fine. There we go. That did it. Hopefully that didn't piss the guy off downstairs, right? That's why we, that's why we saved, because we didn't want to piss that guy off. But I do really want to start getting into these areas. First things first, I want to pick this lock. I'm still on fire. Thievery level too low. Well, that sucks. Can I pick this one? Pick lock. I feel like my thievery level is pretty high. Thievery level too low. Well, that sucks. All right, let's go downstairs and see if I'm pissed anybody off or not. So far, so good. Is Riker the still here? creature grunts three times at the sight of you. It reaches its arm out. Clasped in its hand is a crumpled parchment. You take the page, and the servant returns to its hollow existence. All right. Uh, what did I get? I got this. Riker's message. Read. Godwoken. I've no doubt you return with tablet in hand. Forgive my presumptuous. I've no doubt you return with tablet in hand. Forgive my presumptuous. Presumptuousness. That's such a hard word for me to say. But I've readied... Or I've... I've... Yeah, I've readied my underchamber for your arrival. The entrance is within whispering distance. Riker. So he's downstairs. Okay. That's interesting. So Riker's message is also here. I spotted something. What did I spot? Ooh. It's right there. Okay, so I... Okay. I could kill all these guys. <laughs> as, as mean as that is. In fact, let's come in here, because there's like this chest. There's this ornate chest over here. Ah, oh, there's a guy there too. Damn. Okay, let's go outside. I feel like I've kind of messed around enough in this place and haven't really gotten anywhere because of it. But at the end of the day, it's just, it's kind of annoying. Like, I feel like I could do a lot better um, in that house. Like, I feel like there's a ton of stuff that I can find, but I'm just not able to see it quite yet. Human graves. Let's hope none are earmarked for me. Yeah, let's hope. You know what I could do? Ooh, a belt. Let's identify that belt. I 
identified by spill. Wow, plus one thievery. Plus 27 HP. Cool. Um, What kind of... She's got two initiative on that one. Actually, her belt is better, even though it's more physical armor on this. What was his? 22. What was Beast? 14. Okay, so... I could, now that... Okay, hold on. Back and forth, back and forth. I know. Thievery is now three. Let's go see. Let us go see. So we're going to go upstairs. And we're going to see if we can unlock that door or not. Also, I'm going to say this. Uh, I probably should rest to get myself full on everything. I should be using my... Whatchamacallits. Um, my... My seek... Or spirit vision thing. This door is locked. No, tight. Maybe, uh, pick lock. Unlocked. Ooh, okay. Can I unlock this one too? Is that a possibility? Pick lock. Oh, I don't have any lock picks anymore. Damn it. So I can only choose one or the other. Well, I'm glad I chose that one. What else is here? Um, I could take a look in this stuff. Even though, you know, I don't necessarily need to take things. I'll take that gold. And I'll take that healing potion. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, let's go in. This might be really, really, really bad for us. So I'm a quick save. Okay, there's a thing there. Quick save successful. Good. Recipe for cured poison flask or cursed poison flask. There's a body here. A skerrington. There's a cursed poison flask. I'll take that. Mortar and pestle. We'll leave that. We'll leave a lot of this. Honestly, I don't find it super necessary. Like I can, I can make some money off of that. Nice. Those leggings are now mine. Identify. Um, plus two initiative, plus three percent dodging. It's okay. It's got a lot of magic armor, which is for her is really good. So we'll put those on. Hopefully, people aren't like, "Hey, that item is stolen," because how would they know? I am gonna get that flask or that that um, what you might call it. Recipe, which I think spill open. I don't need that. Okay, so we have now cursed poison flask. Let's go check in here. Hopefully this isn't spider queen. It is spider queen. Oh my goodness, the weaver. The spindles right up to you. Her long, long legs tickling the sandy floor. A malevolent intelligence gleams forth from eight beady eyes. She opens her mouth, hissing at you. Guessing your mucky little boots in all the wrong places. Hmm? Don't you know, my little pepper pot, that it's ever such bad manners to enter a queen's boudoir without permission? Did that over I could toss you upstairs, darling? Hmm? Has he grown weary of milking my venom his very own self? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Tell her Riker sent you. Oh, precious. It's almost too sad to take advantage. But my princelings are hungry. And just look at you. Your food. That's a really creepy looking spider. Her fangs drool venom that sizzles on the sand. But there's no time to think about all that. Because raising up on her hind legs, she pounces right at you. Well, crap. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is bad. Uh, hi, Weaver. No, don't kill me. Oof, that took all my physical armor out. Wow, geez, she's just going ham. Oh my goodness, she just does so much damage. Okay, um, well, uh, oh, crap. Eggs, eggs are going, swollen eggs? Which, 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 which one is which? Okay, that one's in this corner. And then Losa goes. Okay, here's, here's, oh, I'm gonna have to go out, aren't I? I'm gonna die here. Uh, we're gonna impale here. We're gonna... Flesh sacrifice, and we are going to uh, fireball right here. Boom! Took one of those out of the equation. We need to haste Losa immediately. Losa needs to get the heck out of here. That's the next thing, right? So tactical retreat out to. Honestly, that none of these are good. Who's going next? What eggs are going next? Those. Okay. Than these. So if I can burn these down, then I don't have to worry about stuff coming from this way. But I am not in a good spot. 
Um, crap. I mean, I feel like I need, I feel like I need a tactical retreat. I need to get out of that corner. Um, I'm gonna ricochet these. Path is interrupted. Crap, I can't even do that. Okay. Can at least do that. Um, I could sky shot her. I could buff. I suppose I, you know, I've got all these, air, like I got this fireball scroll. How much health does that have? 30. I don't know, honestly. Don't know. Charming arrow, resisted by magic armor, which she doesn't have much of. She does have a lot of life. Don't know. I feel like I need to reactive shot right here. Boom. That way, if, if anything comes in, I can kill it. All right, it's just a tiny spider. Okay, that's not bad, but I don't want a ton of tiny spiders all over the place. Let's, um... We got to do it. Let's chain lightning, you know. Bam. Just, you know, use source, but it was, it's, actually, I guess I should have waited until I had more targets, because I guess that was only one target. I thought that was going to hit everything in the room. I'm panicking now. Uh, I could use that haste scroll on Losa, which I think Losa is hasted. She is. So I should use it on red. Okay. Oof. Okay, so he can, uh, he can just smack all that. I don't want to break that box. The chest has a lot of HP though. So we're gonna do that. Um, everybody's kind of grouped up here, so I could use Men Metal. And um, I could Whirlwind, which would hit that spider, but it would also hit my dudes too. Let's do it. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Okay, that's good. Crap. Okay, so here come all these little tiny spiders. Thankfully, I have Sabeel, and she's going to be the one to, to to kill everything, really. Because I could supernova and just go crazy on these guys. So I got to get everything close and then supernova. Wow. Okay, that was good. That was the reactive shot at play there. Boom, other reactive shot. Oh, reactive shot is MVP right now. Here we go again. <laughs> oh, we all just leveled up. Reactive shot MVP. That was totally worth any gold that I put on that thing. Wow, he just got hit hard. Okay, she's getting away. Going to Losa. Gosh, stop hitting Losa, please. Ugh, decaying healing spells, potions will do damage to you. This is bad. All right. So I could do Worm Tremor, attaching to every character in the area who's not protected by magic armor. Fifty characters. No, that's not gonna really help, is it? I could do Medusa Head. Is it? Wait. Is it uh, blocked by magic armor? Okay. So let's do that. So she's petrified. That that thing's petrified. She can move over here at the very least and do a. Honestly, Encourage is going to give me health. As opposed to damaging me. So maybe I do that. Um, I think I do this, and then... Wow, that was a lot of damage. Okay, and then I'm going to Encourage. Because it is technically going to give me some kind of HP. Right, because it gives me stamina or whatever. These things are moving over. They're in a really bad spot being all grouped up. They're all going to get poisoned, like uber poisoned. So it's up to Beast here. Beast is gonna be our beast. He is gonna soothing cold. And hit them all with magic armor. Which is really good. Um, he doesn't really need much healing. That is that spider dead or alive? I think there's a living spider there too. It's hard to tell. Currently, there is one spider coming up. There's her. There's this one. Okay. So, oh, there's one more set of eggs, too. Ugh, they're in such a bad spot. What do I want to do with him?
Maybe I swap? Because the, the boss is going to go and attack Losa. Like, that's straight up what's going to happen. So, uh, what has, no swap only needs one. So, we're going to do healing ritual. Um... Which does what? Send a wave of healing to target other character. Wave travels nearby allies. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't hit Losa. Okay, so... That hit two of them, so that's not bad. Now we're gonna nether swap. With Beast. And then it's his turn, so at the very least he can walk over here. Hit a provoke. Immune to taunted. That's not good. Can I, maybe, maybe I could cripple. A crippling blow might work. Demonic stare. It's okay. Demon blaze is okay. Enrage is actually not bad. Crap. Okay. Well, let's do crippling blow. She, she is petrified. Here comes another one of those little bastards. Okay, the good news is that it's it's Beale's turn, so she can actually do some crazy damage here. I think I'm going to have her run out here. Oh, crap. Attack of opportunity. Didn't think that that would happen. Right. So, now that she's out here, she's kind of in a really good spot to kind of mess with these guys. So, we'll do this to slow these guys down blow them up. <laughs> I actually didn't think that they were all going to die just there. But they did. Um, she is still decaying. So moving her anywhere would be nice, but that's not going to happen. So let's just do good old shot on that and reactive shot here. That sucks. Does she have any scrolls that I could have like put magic armor I could have done armor frost scroll actually that probably would have been good okay well uh beast oh she okay her decaying's gone so I hit losa with a heal perfect um this this thing's doing physical armor or physical damage at the moment that's that's not good so maybe I move Beast up behind. So if she does move, that's two attacks of opportunity between Red and Beast. Let's try to petrify. Like I'm just trying to lock this boss down. If Losa uncanny evasion and let him go ham. I think we're gonna do this. So we'll enrage, right? So I need to move one and end that turn. She can just toss one of these. She'll be fine if, um, oh crap. Well, that sucks. I was expecting that to die from that attack. I didn't do the math. I suppose I could do like spontaneous combustion to kill it, but I don't think that's good either. Just spontaneous combustion on that. Man, I don't know. Like, I guess, I guess I just try to kill this thing. Finish this off. And then her turn was wasted because she was stunned. Um, let's do... Let's just do normal attacks. So let's let's pop in some of this. And uh, hit with some attacks. Ooh. Goodness. So much damage. I also can heal. So, uh, you know, I can pop a heal on myself. His turn. Um, shocking touches up. Do that. And. Probably do. Just. Mosquito Swarm? It's more damage. It heals him. Alright, and then he can. Whirlwind. And then attack. Man, that's, he does some good damage when he's got Enrage on. And then she can finish it off with a spontaneous... Well, actually, we'll bleed fire. Okay, then we'll do this. Whew. 
We did it. What are we still in combat with, though? Oh, there's some spiders underneath. Of course there are. Of course there are. Losa, get hasted. And then do a ricochet. I like... Boom. Done. My goodness, that was crazy. Can we rest? Okay, that that didn't really help. Okay, she's got a the lot of stuff. Is tight by the high drifts of sand carpeting the floor. Okay, try to force it open with Bruce strength. No matter how much you strain and grunt, the hatch barely budges. For the okay, well, I bet you I can come up with a plan that will help with that. Can we rest again? There we go. Okay. Um, we got all sorts of stuff that we'll take a look at here in a second. I just want to loot everything. Like that's kind of my goal at the moment. Get the loot. Disembodied hand is what that was. Smoke grenade. I'll take that. And the healing potion. And yes, I know. Like, oh, I I destroyed the chest. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that sucks. This is some other dead spiderlings to loot, which isn't gonna give me much, is it? Yeah, let's look at the, the loot that we actually got. So let's identify this chest piece. Oof. Um, finesse 12. Hmm. I mean, it's better than what I got, so let's put that on. Ooh, that's cool looking. Cool. Uh, need a level 3 Lord Master. And we have that. So, wow, 54 magic armor. One constitution, one huntsman, one persuasion. Well, we're taking that. <laughs> because, I mean, she's the one that needs the huntsman. I guess we can give, like, him this one? No, his is better. What about beast? Sure. Let's give him that. Um, dazzling bolt. An electrified bolt falls from the sky, dealing air damage to characters in the area, setting shock status. Let's learn it. Some runes. We got disembodied hand. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put a point into persuasion here now that I've leveled up. We'll go back to this. Uh, her finesse is really high. I feel like I'm, I want a constitution and is it memory? Yep. So I'll put one into memory. And uh, I mean, here it's like my huntsman is at eight at the moment because of all the stuff that I have going on. So. Maybe I just continued into ranged on that one. Boom. Okay, so Bill. We will do probably one into memory and then one into con. And for this we will do. I don't know. I could do another point in the necromancer so she can learn that stuff, but probably just keep doing pyrokinetic, maybe. Yeah, let's do let's do another one into Pyro because I love her fire damage. It's great. For this, I could do another persuasion. For him, I could do another persuasion. It, there we go. It didn't let me at first. It did hit it. Uh, single hand on that one, and probably memory and. I don't know, honestly. He needs a better chess piece. Let's do one into finesse so he can start wearing stuff like this. Um, because technically it is better than what he's got. It looks hideous, but it is technically better. For him, he's got 12 finesse now because of that neck piece. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. We'll do another memory and a, another intelligence. Put that at 20. We'll do... I don't know. What is these? This is uh, eighth or third. So let's do that one. And we will do persuasion for him too. Just so we have everybody with a little bit of persuasion. Yeah, that, that works for me. Wow, that was um, intense. Uh, let's see if we can't figure out where to go next.